Hey, good fucks here. Today we got the best 2 million coin team in Mutt 18. We're putting it together in front of your eyes live here on the internet. I'm sorry if I sound a little tired. It's a little late at night after a stream tonight, but I want to get this up before Thanksgiving, Black Friday. And this, this team might go down a little bit, hopefully with all the packs, and you can get it for under 2 million coins. But let's get right to it. So, immediately... Um, this team is going to be built around the run, and you can run a 4-3 or a 3-4 with it. Um, and I'll get more into that when we get to the defense. But let's go to the offensive line first. All right, so if you get a 2 million coin team, you're going to have to do your solos. And doing your solos will be gauntlet. You'll have gauntlet rewards. Donald Penn is a must for any running team. And I'm going to say, I, I, I said this, I've said this. i said before, I'm not going to put NAT guys in this team, but this Donald Penn is absolutely necessary. Um, it's not too tough to do the gauntlets either. So that's the only NAT card I'm going to put on this team. But I think this left tackle needs to anchor down you for a good running game. All right, left guard. Um, still, if you have Twitch Prime, you get this Bruce Matthews. But if you don't, you're going to have to spend 140k on this Bruce Matthews. I'm going to go hard on your offensive line for the run block. There really isn't anything that is is much or it was really close the the interior linemen this year aren't very good there's not a whole lot of choices but along with the running theme you're going to be running stretch dive counter all that good stuff 94 run block for 25k but if you do need to pass and you find yourself doing it a little bit uh frequently we're going to get you travis not the good one frederick swanson 88 pass block so if you combine these two players they have the same, um, let's say, performance as one card that would cost 10 times as much. So if you're able to switch back and forth, if you're not, if you're like, I don't want to bother with that, well, um, I would just remain running the ball and keep these interior. You're going to only have two players that are bad at pass um, blocking at 79 pass block here with Zeitler. Uh, so you can probably keep them and just keep running the ball a lot and pass and get the ball out quickly. And... Uh, for your backup here for the pass blocking, uh, we're going to get dedicate 30k to one of the best pass blockers in the game, AJ Can. So just rotate them. You're, you're, you're spending resources on it. Might as well use it, right? Do it. Right tackle. I'm also getting you a solid right tackle here. He's more balanced than the rest of them. So you got run block at around, um, well, we're going to get to like 90 across the board here with run block and some a little bit more. Um, tight end number one. I'm also going to get you a run blocker, but I'm going to get you a backup pass catcher this jared cook he's got good speed run block 78 not the greatest but still solid your number two tight end will be the better um run blocker at 82 he's a little slower though only six feet walker is a solid number two for you but if you do want to pass the ball um ingram's your man and uh, most of your ingram's been about i think on like almost every single one of these rosters because the 88 speed is glitchy just 70 70 run blocks so he's not gonna be able to run block for you very well at all all right, moving on to wide receiver. This this recent uh, content with the Thanksgiving gave us the glitchiest, best, um, not glitchiest, but the best priced top end receiver in the game at Irvin for only 148K. That has to be on the squad. And he's a solid run blocker along with uh, Demarius, another great, uh, cheap, most feared. He's got 89 speed and he's a good run blocker with a 90 overall for only 107K. So he's got to be added to the squad. All right, so what your squad's going to be is run focused. And if you have a third wide receiver out there, you're gonna pass the ball. If you don't have, if you're not gonna pass the ball with third wide receiver out there, you're gonna put your second tight end in there. You're gonna put Delaney Walker and run the ball with him, or Ingram, who's got better run blocker than Tyreek. But you don't need a third run blocking wide receiver. You need somebody fast underneath to make to catch drag routes and uh, get some rack yards for you for part of your scheme. But I, I guess you can you can take Jermaine Curse if you want another mediocre receiver slash run blocking receiver. You can put him there. We'll give you their quarterback. You're going to need somebody who's got some throw power. But if you want somebody that scrambles, you can get the Russell Wilson and skip this Roethlisberger. If you like to scramble with the quarterback a lot. If you don't, if you like to sit in the pocket like I do, uh, Roethlisberger is a good choice. Otherwise, you can go to something like Wilson. Um, he's, he's a little bit more expensive, a little faster though. So I, I prefer Roethlisberger. He played a lot better for me than Wilson. This Roethlisberger card performed very well, just isn't able to scramble. So take that under consideration. You could potentially have a backup Vic card there, but for your, for your number one running back, I really desperately wanted to get you Barry Sanders in the squad, but his 700 K was kind of cost prohibitive. That was like what? 30% of the team. So running back, we're going to go speed power combo. And then another speed combo. I, I would almost think about starting this 87 Herschel Walker. 91 speed on him. He's got decent uh, trucking. He doesn't have 
uh, glitchy trucking elusiveness, but uh, either him or uh, Tariq could start for you. Um, no real issue either way. Um, so we were unable. Actually, yeah, sorry. I guess we were only get we only got uh, tier. We could get one. I actually didn't. I tried to get Marcus Cannon up. I thought I I thought I was able to get him up one. Oh yeah, I'm only able to get him to two. For some reason, I thought I was able to get him to three um, with. The pound the rock. I needed to get him to three guys to get him to 90 run block. So let's. I was going to put Christian Okoye here, but I think we want this. Uh, let's go with this one. Yeah, let's go with this Christian Okoye. You're right. I chose the wrong Christian Okoye on my, on my cheat screen. So this Christian Okoye gets our tier one up on pound the rock, which gets him up to 90 pe uh, run block, him up to 80 run block. Uh, we're not, I don't know if you run the if you run the fullback a lot more, you can go somebody like the Bohannon here. This uh, Bohannon, 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 Bohannon. 88 run block on the Bohannon is great, but he's going for 70k. So if you run the fullback a lot in your schemes, go with him. But I'm more of a single back type runner um, who's running stretches out of single back and stuff. But if you run stretches and tosses, go with that Bohannon over Okoye um, because he's got better run block and impact and all that good stuff. All right, moving over to the defensive side. This is where I wanted to get you a glitchy defense, um, and I spent a lot of coins here. Paul Krause here, not his full legend, but his 89. We're going to be able to chem that, that zone coverage over 91, which is what we need. So, and over here, if you have Twitch Prime, I'm going to want you to use that one because that one is going to save you a lot of coins. 158K, though, we're going to get the 90 Rodney Harrison, the cheapest 91 zone coverage, strong safety we can get you. Um, he, he's going to perform okay for you. I wouldn't say he's top of the charts at the moment they're much better strong safeties but for this price for 91 zone you're not going to be beating them all right and uh kendrick's out here solid right outside linebacker fast six feet he's got a decent block shed he's got basically he's a jack of all trades he's not really great rushing the passer but uh for a 4-3 defense he's great and 3-4 we'll take a look at his uh his moves um 84 power move will not get you much pressure naturally but his speed on blitzes will so you're, you're more of a 4-3 defense than a 3-4 but you can sub in um a pass rusher that's that's kind of cheap for the high uh pass rush moves if you want to do a 3-4 here but this is more around the 4-3 4-6 defense uh Haseen reddick is going to be a user you can get some of the new ones um the the bar but the bar was kind of expensive and i think a better user anyways or, or close to user is this leonard floyd you could also use a floyd reddick it, it's it's a tough sell um, because Reddick's 27k and his main weakness over Barr is is four inches of height, but Barr is going for about 12 times this price, maybe more, um, over 300k. So I, I decided to go with Reddick here instead of spending the extra for Barr. Um, and for here we're gonna go Shaz his core elite because he's a linebacker two in a four three. You could put him in a three four. So if you go like a uh, a three four defense leave these two middle linebackers i like them both and the only one you switch out would be kendrick's so there's that um uh, but for for chem reasons we're going to put floyd at number two and we're going to get somebody pretty cheap here brandon watts oh he went up in price by a thousand coins weird he's still got some speed though uh but we only need his chem and because we got to get this read and react to tier three for mr harrison all right moving on to the cbs i think you've seen this card on a lot of teams and that's because he's great card for the price he's got height not the greatest speed but he's got read and react chem so put him there uh we get over here another great for the chem for the price little price here as you see the price difference between the the other versions and this read and react version 200k um about 20k difference because he's worth it um at cb3 we could potentially uh, move a different player here uh, but i just like the way this marshawn Lattimore has played for me with 92 speed I have his rookie premier card, but it's been played pretty well in the slot. You can blitz him. Um, he doesn't have the 91 zone coverage because you're going to be playing mostly in a 4-3, 4-6 type defense. Well, not 4-6 because 4-6 you'd go speed. More a 4-3, 4-4. Uh, Sorry, yeah, 4-3, four, 4-4 four, four type defense. I said 3-4 earlier. I meant 4-4. Four, four. Um, with Shaz out there, it can be out in the field. But 3-4 could also work with the, this defense that I'm setting up too. But more a 4-3, four, 4-4. Four, four. And then for the cornerback... Um, number four, he's only going to come out in dime situations, either blitz him or put him in man coverage. And, and basically, I want speed in man coverage. That's all I worry about. Man coverage works this year, um, but it isn't anything. So your, your defense is mainly going to want to stop the run. 
So you're going to want block shit here. And I'm going to go Olivier Vernon here. I'm only putting him his uh, 85 mud hero. This is going to be a pass rusher for his chemistry. That's the only reason putting here. But at the beginning of the game, you're going to sub in Suggs here, this uh, block shed one, because you're 100% focused on that 94 block shed that he's got in this card. So at the start of the game, you'll sub him there, him there, and the rest. Oh, I'll get to that. I'll get to Jones. Daquan Jones is going to be your starting defensive tackle, but you're going to move him once the game starts. And I'll show you. All right. And then you're going to get this Brandon Williams for your 4-4 defense and your 4-3 defense. 90 block shed on his big body. The big body doesn't matter as much as the block shed, but block shed definitely matters. And then out here, you want Leonard Williams and his his uh, high block shedness. Where is he? Where are you at? There you are. And read and react. So he's got great block shed, great read and react. And then you're going to get your pa pass rushes over here. So in your 4-3, if, if you know it's like third and long or something, but you're 100% focused because this meta right now is run first. Um, you're going to focus on those players first. and then But then the pass rush guys later. So there's your D-line. Should be pretty glitchy. Like So I said, so if you start, so this is how you, your lineup's going to look when you start the game. So you got tier three, read and react. That gets Rodney Harrison up to 91. He's over 91. These guys are both at 91 also, over 91. And uh, so you're playing a 4-3 slash 4-4 defense. And then once the game starts, you're going to go like this and this. And the only reason I'm putting Jones on the outside, if we compare him to Leonard Williams, 60 speed, not very fast. Leonard Williams, what's Leonard's speed? 65. Actually, I would be fine with swapping him. Um, the only reason I have Jones on the outside is because I, I, I wanted more block shed up the middle. But having having Williams there, just leaving him there, is actually perfectly fine. And putting your slower guys in the middle. I'm surprised Jones is so slow. But regardless, that's the squad. Um, let me know what you guys think. We are at right at 2 million coins on Xbox One. So we hit it perfectly. I'll go over the squad. I'll link the squad in the description too. So here we go. Scroll back up. Floyd there for your 4-3-4-4 type defense. A little bit of one change makes you into a 3-4. But I don't I, I don't think I don't think Floyd plays as well. Well, he's okay in a four th in a three four. But and there's the offense. It's gonna be run first, stretches, dives, and more stretches. Slash tosses. There you go. Hope you enjoy. Hope it was educational. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I'll try and get a three million one out in the next few days. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.